During the Vietnam War, the U.S. government employed Agent Orange, a defoliant containing high levels of dioxin, as a tactical weapon. Over a period of 10 years, 84 million liters of the defoliant were sprayed. During that time, 5 million people were directly exposed to the toxin. They absorbed dioxin through their skin into their body. To this day, dioxin continues to be absorbed by Vietnamese people via their groundwater and the food, especially the animal fat, that they ingest. Dioxin exposure can lead to serious health damage. Heart and brain damage, cancer of the liver, lungs, kidneys, intestines and bone marrow, plus chloracne, spasms, as well as neurological and mental health dysfunctions, and leukemia are only some of the consequences of dioxin. Over three million people suffer from these diseases. But the toxin's impacts become even more profound once it migrates into the human cell. The cell nucleus is protected by a membrane in order to disable molecules which are foreign to the body from entering the nucleus. Here, the dioxin combines with the AH receptor. This receptor is a protein which regulates the cell growth. The newly formed combination is then perceived as the body's own hormone and can therefore penetrate the protective barrier. Once inside of the nucleus, it activates DNA sequences and damages the genes. Since the war, over 150,000 Vietnamese children have been born with congenital malformations, which can be traced back to dioxin. Amongst these diseases are mental disability, orofacial cleft, facial asymmetry, stunted growth, deformations of the brain and the spinal marrow, as well as severe malformations such as deformed, misplaced, or missing extremities and organs. Most of the affected children who survive their birth suffer from lifelong pain. Even though the last military operations using Agent Orange date back 40 years, dioxin continuously produces new victims through genetic inheritance and the contaminated environment. 17 million people have come in contact with the toxin since the war ended, and the number of affected persons steadily grows.